Alright folks, I came across this new program in my travels called Hybrid. And I liked it so much I'm going to move it up to the castle on my wallpaper. Or, or the door, or the maybe the ship, or maybe the angel. Okay, never mind. Okay, where was I? <laughs> Let me open up this program. Okay, so we're going to start over on the base. And then we're going to go over there and click that. And we're going to input your file, your 30 frames per second file, or something less than 60 frames per second. We're going to leave that on X264, and we're going to put that on pass through. That's the way I do it. Now, this is, looks like it's a complicated program that can do lots of different things, but just bear with me. I'm just trying to convert 30 to 60 frames per second. So here, I'm going to change that to 4.2. The bit rate, I'm going to change it to 55,000. That will give me plenty of room for the new frames. And then I'm going to go to framing or to, let's see, AVI filters to AVI synth. And down there at the bottom right, support, change that to AV, AVI synth. And then go to frame and then go to FPS adjust. And change that to inner frame. Now we're going to change it to smooth here and smooth here. And then the frames per second we're going to change to 60. All right. So now go back to the base tab and now choose an output file. Just uh, make up your own name. This is what the new file will be named after the conversion process and then click on the workman icon and it'll start doing its thing it does two passes this could take five ten minutes depending on how big your file is and now let's look at some examples here now here's a 30 frames per second from my galaxy note plus phone and this is after the conversion done with this hybrid program to 60 frames. Can you see a difference? Again, back to 30. Just filming in my backyard here. And 60. You should notice when the camera pans, it should be smoother. That's when, like if the camera was just on a tripod, you wouldn't notice it as much. But the more the camera sways, the more you should be able to pick up on the smoothness of the 60 frames per second. Okay, now let's go up in a drone. A lot most drones only can do 30 frames per second. So here you see 30 frames per second. It's a little jittery, and now it's smoothed out using this hybrid program. Converted to 60 frames per second. Another shot, 30 frames here. A little jaggedy, a little jittery. Now it's a, a lot smoother in my opinion. Um, with the 60 frames. Now let's go to my camera, uh, my smartphone. There you see it was recorded in 48 frames and it's been bumped up to 60 using the program. Let's look at it again. You see the little stutter there and now it's smoother. Okay, here's another shot where it's supposed to be doing 60 frames per second, but the Galaxy uh, S9 Plus has a little problem with its camera. can't always do 60 frames. Here it's been bumped up using the hybrid program. Uh, to 60 and you can you should be able to see it's a little smoother a little better and here's my dash cam another example 30 frames per second it records in this one you can't quite tell quite as much but now it's 60 it should should notice a little bit smooth smoother quality so I just want to give you some examples here I really like this program and I think I will move the icon back to the castle that's my special place